Night fam, I am about to expose the world to the truth behind this explosion. This is for people of Lebanon. By now, the world has seen what happened in Beirut. The impact so huge that it was felt 150 miles away in Cyprus. This killed over a hundred people. It left thousands injured and more than 300,000 lost their homes. Shattered windows, deformed metals and all sorts of debris made the center of Beirut look like a war zone. And unfortunately, this is the result of war. The lost war against the government. See, the truth behind this explosion needs to go global because this catastrophe could have been easily avoided. It all started back in 2013 when a Russian ship filled with ammonium nitrate was on its way to Mozambique but made a detour in Beirut. The owner was unable to pay the port fees so the ship had to be left there and because of what was inside of that ship, it was a ticking bomb. Aware of the dangers, the port authorities have been writing letters to the government since 2014. We need to remove ammonium nitrate from the facility. We can donate it to the Lebanese army. For six years they have not been heard until now. This was the negative progress of lack of action. The catastrophe that could have been easily avoided happened and now it's the common people who will suffer the most. And that's where you and me can come with help. Long before the pandemic, Lebanese people have been crying for reforms. Here the corruption is out of control. Lebanon is the third highest in debt country in the world. Here over 30% of people live below poverty line. Their currency lost 85% of its value in less than a year and with the pandemic millions of children are going hungry every day this country is literally dying and the truth is most of us would not hear about it if it wasn't for this Sometimes things need to get really bad for it to get better. That's why I believe the people of Lebanon deserve to be heard. These are the comments coming from people of Lebanon themselves. If you or your country's leaders wants to donate, please do not donate directly to the Lebanese government. They have stolen from us before and they will do it again. Find independent organizations. Please let people know. The bigger the international pressure, the more likely our corrupt politicians will be held accountable. Ladies and gentlemen, Lebanon needs our attention and our help. And you are helping just by watching, commenting and sharing this video because all the proceeds I will donate to the Lebanese Food Bank organization to make sure that at least a few less children go hungry. Thank you for being a part of this. Now that you know the truth behind what happened, let's hope that we can all overpower this explosion with the power of kindness, care and awareness.